team is now in northern Italy. The first stop of the day is the landing zone. We call it Arco. I believe the actual name of it is Monte Brento. It's a, approximately a 3,000 foot cliff. You can take a, anywhere from 10 to 14 seconds free fall off of it. And with the wingsuit, I believe you have a 30 second delay here, so it's probably the biggest cliff we'll jump on this trip. It's amazing how far out it looks. Maybe that's not five times to the river, but it's when you're it's standing there on top, you look out and you know, it's, it's a long ways. Now it's time to find the launch point. A short drive through the Italian hillside leads to the trailhead. Just like in Chamonix, not many trails lead to the takeoff. Again, the challenge is to find their way through the forest. We're somewhere in here right now, and we're looking for the big tree. It's typical. Every time there's a jump, <laughs> they're getting lost. <laughs> Okay, we're almost to the launch point up here. We had some trouble with the trail back there, so we just paralleled the edge until we ran across the trail, and now we're on it. I figure we're five minutes away, so things are looking good out here. So we should be there in a half hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always a half hour. Yeah. Because these limestone cliffs are nearly 3,000 feet high and sheer vertical, Dave and Andy have decided to jump wearing specially designed winged suits. What the wingsuit is, is just a bunch of nylon fabric that, um, in a sense, makes your body webbed. It webs from your arms down to your waist and webs in between your legs and actually turns your body into a wing, turns the front of your arm into the leading edge of a wing and makes you fly. Um, and what that does in base jumping is, um, allows you to jump off a cliff and actually fly away from it instead of just falling like a rock. Despite their futuristic look, these suits originally designed for skydiving are still somewhat untested when it comes to the low altitudes of base jumping. Until now, no one has come up with a safe form of the wingsuit. All the wingsuit men in the past are, have all died trying to fly wingsuits. But today, um, with all of the new technology and parachutes and materials, um, there's now a form of wingsuit that is actually s relatively safe and incredibly functional and really fun to fly. Okay. Trust is of great yeah. value when you're a base jumper, and having faith in your partner is almost as important as the parachute you jump with. To illustrate this trust, Dave and Andy have decided to make this jump together. Three. Two, one. See ya. As their speed increases and they start to track away from the cliff, they separate. Dave goes to the jumper's left and Andy to the jumper's right. Once on the ground, the guys move quickly. The field they've landed in is private property. Rumor has it the police will write tickets to base jumpers. Not because jumping is illegal, it's the trespassing they don't like. That was great. <laughs> Good for me. I, I got off 
as clean as I could hope for, really. Got a little bit head down there for a second, but not anything that really mattered. And then you could just feel the power of this wingsuit kicking in. And it's, it's the most power a person can wrap around a 